tonight's topic uh, has to do with proposals and solutions for mitigating the negative impacts of our current drought with particular emphasis on accessing new sources of water. And so I'm really very pleased that the four gentlemen who are on this panel agreed to do so because each of them in their own way comes at it from a somewhat unique perspective. Uh, in preparing for tonight's conversation, uh, one of the things that I noticed when looking at similar water-related uh, forums was, oh my God, uh, was that uh, lots of the presentations kind of overwhelm the audience with reams and reams of data. And while I'm interested in data as much as the next person, my experience is that too much quantitative data basically suffocates one's ability to actually listen and absorb the overall message that's being imparted by the panelists. So I'm actually relieved that no one wanted to bring or have a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> uh, with 12 years of drought behind us and the last five years and more predicted to come, and with rainfall over the last five years at 50%, our groundwater supplies are now unreliable, and our primary storage facility, Lake Casitas, is in deep decline. And if the climate and weather scientists are accurate, there is no end in sight. Uh, we're already seeing the pressures of supply and demand for our water resources, uh, pitting competing ag uh, interests against each other with agricultural consumers uh, versus individuals being uh, the most obvious, of course. Our economic life as a, uh, our economic way of life as an agricultural community, and especially in the Ojai Valley uh, as a tourist area, is quite vulnerable with co potentially devastating consequences if we don't come up, to come up with solutions for our need for new water as conservation can only accomplish so much. On the more positive side, our drought has brought people together. The agricultural community, which uses upwards of 80% of our water, is working together and sharing information, not perfectly, but working together, uh, on new strategies and technologies for maximizing water efficiency. Now, if we could just get them to change their crop um, profile, that would be pretty great. Um, individuals and communities are working together to reduce overall consumption, and our various water company authorities are exploring ways to collaborate, cost share, and provide backup to each other in areas where they are either strong or deficient. Tonight's first speaker, Richard Hajas, Hajas? Hages, I knew I would do it, uh, is going to outline for us um, in some of the more holistic, if I can say that, uh, proposals that are currently being considered, including, and this is just sort of one sentence, uh, two particularly intriguing initiatives, one of which is the, at the state level, the Two Tunnels Project, which would benefit Southern California ultimately and if it were constructed, and the other in particular here for us in Ventura County, the Three Sisters Project, with the Three Sisters being Casitas Mutual Water Company, Ventura, and the Callegas Municipal Water uh, District. Uh, following Richard's remarks, we're going to hear from Bert Rapp, Bert had municipal government experience at having spent time on drought-related issues for the city of Fillmore. Obviously, anything that our water authorities do is going to um, uh, be affected by municipalities and politics and turf, and it's, it'll be very complicated. So Bert has had some experience with that. I think it was probably kind of unpleasant, but I, my, from the reading, I think that there were meals of crow that were at uh, after it was done, and Bert would have every right to a little schadenfreude uh, with the passing of a few years. Next, Russ Spaggerly will offer his perspective uh, on, th on other die ideas that are being floated for the Casita service area, such as catchment and rainwater story storage, the Hobos project, just to name a couple. And lastly, to give us a more kind of an intimate view, uh, from the local community perspective, we'll hear from Dennis Wright, who will speak about, among other things, local advocacy efforts and strategies. 